Here's how you make the Laws of Exponents foldable booklet. First thing you want to do is start with the dividing zero power sheet. This is the dividing zero power sheet. The instructions say you're going to fold this paper in half. And what you're going to do is, where it's creased here, you're going to start about an inch or so above the bottom here and just barely cut that creased section out. And whenever you get about to the top, about an inch away from the top, you want to stop. And so what we've done is we have created basically a hole inside of this paper. So after you get done with that, set it aside. The second page, page B, look for the multiplying, the little multiplying page here. Fold it in half. But this time you're not going to cut anything on the on the inside or the middle of the crease. You're going to cut right down here at the bottom. You're going to cut about an inch up on the bottom. Turn that over and then cut about an inch at the top. All right, we'll set that aside. The last page is blank. It says be the same at the top. We're going to do the same thing we just did with that second page. Fold it in half. You'll open that up. You'll cut about an inch or so at the bottom. And you'll cut about an inch or so at the top. This right here is the last page here. So you want to hold this one here. Take the multiplying page and put it on top. So now you have two pages. And here's where the magic begins. You're going to take these two pages and you're going to feed them inside of the part that we cut out. Now when you feed these inside, be a little careful so you don't rip anything. So you're going to put this part down at the bottom. You're going to open this up to the top. And the pages are going to all mesh together and make this cool little booklet that I came up with. And if you did this correctly, it'll be in this order. Parts of a power, multiplying, you'll have dividing, exponent to an exponent, negative exponents, and then anything raised to the zero power. Voila! Hope this helps.